Game day starts for me a few days before the game, honestly. Uh, I mean, that's when preparation really hits for the games. You kind of taper down the physical preparation, but my mental preparation goes up. You may get two kicks that game. You may get one kick that game, and it's got to be 100% every single time. I want to wear the same shoe um, on both feet. That just helps me visually, like when I'm looking down at my feet, and helps me kind of feel even. I have some socks, they're called true socks. They've got like these little sticky things on the bottom so your foot doesn't move in the shoe. As far as when I get to the stadium, I go out in the field, I do a little walk the field, so I'll do different spots and I'll implement like the physical with the visual and no ball or anything, but just kind of walk through my steps, do some dry swings and just see the ball in my head going through the uprights over and over and over again um, from different spots, from different scenarios. There's nothing better than putting it through the uprights. So. I mean, that's definitely enjoyable to, to know that you did your job to help your team have the best shot at winning games. I take my, my left wrist. I write uh, the initials P.O. And that's my best friend growing up. Uh, when I decided to quit soccer and pursue football, he was the one that's kind of pushing me to, to do it. And his name was Parker Overly. And along that process of when I quit to first starting at Utah, he actually passed away, and uh, so that's just a, a reminder for me to of why I'm doing it, and you know, kind of why I'm here, and just keeping him with me throughout this whole process. I think confidence is everything for the specialist position, uh, really, in, in life. But just being able to be confident in who you are as a person, um, win or lose, good and bad, and then just who you are on the field, just knowing that you are here for a reason and that you belong here and that you can do this at the highest level. Whether you made the last one or, or missed the last one, the next one has no bearing on that. I mean, it's, it's its own kick, it's its own different opportunity. So just being able to take it one kick at a time, get 1% get better every single day, make sure you're putting in the work when no one's watching, you know, you're doing the small little things that are gonna make you as consistent as you can possibly be. And in, in kicking, I mean, it's the smallest of margins that can be the difference between winning games and losing games. If you're cool, calm, you know, collected and, and just confident, then you're gonna have a lot of success in this league, um, whatever position you play. I think just but for a specialist, especially sometimes when the pressure's on, being able to steady yourself, steady your heartbeat, be able to stay cool is definitely a huge part of it.